Hi everyone, I'm Hayden Crawford and thanks so much for watching my next video on Numerologist. I think we're really privileged to be living through such a powerfully transformational period of time on the planet where more and more of us are waking up to our soul truths and leaving behind those outdated illusionary beliefs that we are somehow three-dimensional. Now, we're embracing the fact that we are actually multi-dimensional beings capable of coexisting simultaneously on numerous different planets and galaxies. Now, over the past few weeks, I've been investigating lots of different flavors of star seeds from the Andromedans all the way through to the Pleiadeans. And this week, I'm gonna be focusing on the Boots constellation and the beautiful Arcturian race. Now, these are wise spiritual teachers here to guide us forward into the golden age of Aquarius. Now, I've identified 14 different traits that you might be able to see in yourself to see if you are actually an Arcturian starseed. Entities from Arcturius are pioneers of a new future on Earth and have a particular focus on creating sustainable community environments and advancing technology. They have a sole contract with us on the planet to either incarnate in human form or to act as our spirit guides. They have the ability to communicate telepathically and can transmit information via colours, sacred geometry or even sounds. And the frequency that those colours and shapes and sounds are on will actually tell us more about the structure of our universe or even the laws that govern it. Arcturian starseeds resonate with the frequencies of the throat chakra so are attracted to all different forms of communication and broadcast media. They also love to empower people to be able to live their true soul purpose so they can make a massive difference on the planet. And they're able to transmute information that's come through the divine channels into the three dimensional world so that they can create solutions for sustainable living within the community, advance technology through sacred geometry and also improve our architecture. The following personality traits are often attributed to the Arcturians. They're fantastic communicators and have really strong personalities that are perfectly aligned to be able to teach. They love nothing more than sharing their wisdom with other people. They're also outwardly come across as being capable of just about anything, even though sometimes inwardly they might be struggling a little bit. Number two is since childhood, they've known that they've had a sole purpose, but it might not have necessarily been until later on in life that they discover what it really is. This burning desire can propel them into investigating spirituality, the paranormal, and even metaphysics. Number three is that they frequently have inner feelings of dissatisfaction, which can lead to unhappiness. They might have been the odd one out at school, or even the black sheep within their own family. Number four is that they're often found delivering speeches publicly. They can be the life and soul of the party because they've got excellent timing and they love making people laugh. Number five is that they adore expressing themselves creatively and they can do this through writing, poetry, music or even art. However, they like to keep their innermost feelings and emotions to themselves and find it easier to display anger or humour. Number six is that they adore traveling and love to visit different countries and cultures to expand their awareness. They're extremely compassionate, caring and loving individuals too. Number seven is that they're fascinated by technology, quantum physics, sacred geometry, mathematics and even astronomy. When they close their eyes, they might see colorful geometric patterns behind their eyelids. Number eight is that Arcturians can be highly sensitive to sounds, smells, lights, or even chemicals, which can bring up rashes or little patches of eczema on their very delicate skin. Number nine is that they're prone to low blood pressure, so can feel the cold worse than anybody else. So they're better off emigrating to warmer climates. Number 10 is that they desire lasting change so that they can actually be attracted to professions where they can make a difference in developing sustainable communities or even breaking down old hierarchies within certain organizations. 
Number 11 is that they're quite hard to get close to and can be quite distant at times. They don't have many close friends, but they've got a lot of acquaintances, so you should feel really privileged if you get to be one of their pals. Number 12 is that they require a lot of personal freedom in intimate relationships. They don't like having to explain themselves, so the more that you can give them their space, the better the relationship will be. Number 13 is that they adore asking deep philosophical questions. So be warned, if you get into a conversation with them, it might go into a lot more depth than at first you imagined. And number 14 is that they love planning, organising and building. So make sure you give them all of your tick lists and they'll get everything done with ease and grace. Well, I hope you enjoyed your adventure into the Arcturian civilization today and uh, that you resonated with some of those 14 key traits. Let me know if you think you're a member of the Arcturian group in the comments section below and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.